This week on Beyond the Spark, Season 2. So, so write what you feel, write what you like, uh, write what you love. Um, I was thinking of a ballad, something like, something sensual regarding that. Uh, we can find a way to time together. Energy exists even in absence. What do you, what do you mean? Look, it's kind of hard to find a spot beyond the dark. It's time for the first team meetings. Each coach has their own strategy. Let's look in on Team Ward and see what Jay does without Geronimo. So let's talk about what ideas you have going, even if they're like crazy ideas or not well formed out, but like what's, what's going on in your mind right now for your topic? We'll start with, uh, we'll start with Jasmine. <laughs> well, um, honestly, I tried not to get too crazy because I didn't know what to expect. And I figured that when we met, like it would definitely be altered. So like, I was like, oh, you know, maybe I could do something in Spanish and in English. And then I was like, okay, but stop because you don't even know <laughs> what everyone else or what even is supposed to be happening. So you should probably just like not think too much on it or don't get too attached to any one idea until you've talked to everybody. Um, what about you, Virginia? Um, I've been thinking about a lot, um, with privilege and everything that's going on in the country today and everything that I have been through as, sorry, I got a call in. I don't know if I paused, um, but everything that I've been through, I'm, I'm biracial, I'm mixed. So, um, just about white privilege and reversing that role. I honestly, it came to me today. I was talking to my boyfriend about it, but reversing the role of white privilege of, of what it would look like of, you know, what, what would white privilege look like to black people? Um, what it would be like if we were the privileged ones. Um, I don't know if that sounds like a crazy idea, but it literally just came to me a couple hours ago. Um, but what would, what, what would that look like for us? You know, um, as a minority, you know, to have that privilege that white people have. So. Cool. Um, man, I, 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 I wish Geronimo was here. I probably, I, if he doesn't, if he's not able to join and he might be thinking, he might be thinking seven o'clock his time. Um, maybe I'll set up a call with him because I think, I think privilege and identity, depending on where, what he's thinking, like privilege <laughs> and identity naturally talk to each other. Um, and then language uh, can also talk to that. Um, I think so. I, I was really thinking like along the lines of miscommunication and miscommunication, like amongst language barriers, but also just like the ways that we miscommunicate with each other, speaking English, even from, you know, person to person or like region of the country to region of the country. So when you were talking about privilege, you know, I was really thinking we can definitely tie in language to even just like a miscommunication, even when people are talking about privilege and misunderstanding what we mean when we say privilege. This, this language poem could be like the fulcrum between the two things where you're talking specifically about privilege and Geronimo is talking specifically about identity and language is addressing both of those things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, and, and that could be the tie in. Um, so like, don't spend too much time thinking, oh man, I need to figure out a way to tie this in. Cause we can do that together. Okay. Um, if you come up with something naturally cool, but the most important thing is uh, to write something that you, that really resonates with you. Uh, write something that you really like, that you really want to say, and then we can figure out a way to make them all kind of blend together. Taria starts her meeting with a challenge. Let's do a free write. And that's just so you can like let it all flow out of you, right? So, um... This was just what came to mind. Days blink by, yet you stand still holding her hand. Gently the twilight comes, eyes enveloped by darkness. Elysium exists upon exhaling, 
Energy exists even in absence. Eyes echo eerie explanations. How can I break this mirror? I'm tired of looking at the skin I'm in. I can't accept the fact that I am my own truth. But I must accept, accept because my next breath needs me. See, it needs this word. So walk and embrace every inch of your soul. I sighed a breath of cold acceptance, brought a warmth of deliverance. I looked death in the mouth and spoke bravely. He bit my neck. And this is what made me realize I had more to say. Mm. Like everyone's free ride had something to do with taking a breath, like whether it was to survive or letting go. Mm. I think that's dope. Breath. Breath in this in this time with all three of y'all topics actually is very essential. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. But the teens aren't done. They have much more to figure out. I was only concerned about privilege because, and that's one of the things I was thinking about today, but and over the week, but like because I'm I'm mixed, but I'm also my skin's light, and a lot of people mistake me. Oh, you're a white girl, like so. Like, how can she know about what privilege is? Or I, mean, I know there's different privileges within society, but I know that's like a big thing. So that's like the only fear that I had. I really feel like, girl, don't even have any fear about that because, I mean, colorism and privilege within like even just being black or a black identifying or a multiracial person is very much a thing. Privilege is very much a thing. And of course, you know, it doesn't make you a bad person or anything, but there could definitely be some benefits that you could have just from being, you know, biracial. Yeah. I appreciate that. I appreciate and I don't you. Think anyone will be like upset with you either for like bringing it up. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Well, I appreciate saying that. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't think anybody will have a problem with it either. Like uh, privilege uh, exists in, in some manner. Privilege exists for everybody, everybody. to different yep. degrees, you know? So yeah, yeah I, I think it's uh, I think it's a great topic. So yeah, um, questions I asked about spiraling mid depression. So um, I actually took something that I had um, already, and I kind of just expounded on it, um, and just kind of messed around with some stuff, and um, which and so that's that's what this became. Um, like I said, like I write a lot about this anyway. It's kind of where the headspace that I'm in right now. Uh, and it, and it kind of picks up from like my last book, uh, uh, which kind of talked about like, um, uh, mortality and spirituality and things of that nature. So this is, a uh, this is questions I ask while spiraling mid depression. Um, I think so. I, I was really thinking like along the lines of miscommunication and miscommunication, like amongst language barriers, but also just like the ways that we miscommunicate with each other, speaking English, even from, you know, person to person or like region of the country to region of the country. So when you were talking about privilege, you know, I was really thinking we can definitely tie in language to even just like a miscommunication, even when people are talking about privilege and misunderstanding what we mean when we say privilege. Yes. Oh, yeah. That that's good. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a great. Point. Cool. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I think my best advice is to write what you feel, and then these other things that we talk about in the periphery, if they work their way into the poem, that'd be you know that'd be great. But maybe no pressure to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm also thinking as you're talking, uh, you said something about reverse, which makes me think you know uh, something backwards, and you're talking about miscommunication. Um, this, this language poem could be like the fulcrum between the two things where you're talking specifically about privilege and Geronimo is talking specifically about identity and language is addressing both of those things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, and, and that could be the tie-in. Um, Each of y'all's concepts is like, y'all y'all can have storytelling in it, right? <laughs> Each piece of free writing that y'all have shared, each poem that y'all have shared today has had a story in it, right? It's something that's been complicated. You know, it's something that can be very much so infinite depending on what you do with it. 